that you've decided to join this video. If you've clicked on this, it means you're on the side. The vigilante crime fighting side. Now, I can't reveal my identity to you, but right now the cat is giving me the craziest look. She's looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm doing this voice. <laughs> you should literally see her right now. Now she's looking away. But anyway, now that you've joined, I'm glad you're interested in joining the crime fighting team. What's your name? I'd enter the credentials. Oh. That's a lovely name. Very powerful. So, are you looking to be an attorney? Just kidding. Attorneys are the, were some of the most crooked people that exist, besides politicians. But, back to this topic. All right, so, Alfred told me that you'd be joining me today. So, would you like some tea? That's right, Batman likes tea. Okay, you prefer Fanta. I have that too. The cat's still staring at me. What is it, Catwoman? Anyway, so probably wondering why Batman would have called you here. Well, I answered your ad online for being a vigilante crime fighter. You said that you wanted... No, I realize... Yes, I realize that this is a difficult task. Keeping all of Gotham safe is not an easy task. It has never been an easy task. But you knew that when you signed up. You knew that when you put the ad out. You knew that when you contacted me. Well, yes, I mean, that's true. I did contact you. But you put, you put the ad out first. That's not the question here. Here, chips. Please, Chips. That's true. I am stalling. Batman is stalling. Because really, there's only room for one crime fighter. I know. I. Yes, I know. I reached out to you. Fine. Okay. Truthfully, I don't like to admit this. I've always worked alone. But growing evils of today's society, it can be difficult to take care of business, and sometimes you need a sidekick who can help you out with that job. So are you willing to be that sidekick? Do you like to day in and day out fight for the justice of what's right? All right, then, well, you're gonna love me. So, this is a crime fighting recruiting here. Once you get started, there's no leaving. Because crime fighting, crime doesn't take a rest. This is, what, what's that? What, why is the video messing up? What's going on with this transmission? What, what the heck? What's going on? <laughs> Ooh, got a little overexcited there and I got the hiccups. Looks like I got so overexcited that I got the hiccups. <laughs> 
interrupt this broadcast to bring you justice. True, true justice. Ladies and gentlemen, we are tonight's entertainment. I only have one question, and it's not this time. Where is Harvey Dent? The question this time is, will you comply? Will you comply with me? I do so love interrupting broadcasts. You're not going to take this. Oh, yes, I am. I will because I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Evil business. Justice for it. Justice for it. I know where your little intern lives, so it's either uh, you fork over your identity or your new intern. By the way, the goons are on the way to his house right now. That's right, that's right. The goons are, my goons are on their way to his house right now and believe me life means less to them their own life means less to them than a spicy picante taco to a person with acid reflux disease <laughs> a little joke there a little joke humor joker humor so what I want to get straight is your identity. Either you give your identity and you're obviously wealthy, so given the fact that your little tools, they're not so cheap now, are they? So you have to be one of the wealthy folks in town. So I'm gonna narrow it down to a few and I'm going to pick one. But here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. You're going to give your identity to me by the end of this video. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you four. No, 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 no. That's too many. That's too many. That's way too many. I'm going to give you three chances. And by chances, I mean minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even think about it. Don't even think about... Don't even think about... Commissioner Gordon can't help you. The cops can't help you. No one can help you. You know, you know why? You know why they can't help you? Because my goons are already on their way. As a matter of fact, two of them are already stationed outside your little buddy's house where you were having this chat with. Hmm. You were, you were actually, he was actually in there? Oh, well, guess what? I took that into account, too. You'll never stop me. Hmm, I forgot that you were actually talking to an in person. Well... His brother's going to die. <laughs> All this time I was freaking you out, making you think that I was going to his house, but no, 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 no. My goons are actually headed to his brother's house. That's right, that's right. Clever. Not... You know, I've always wondered why people make such a big deal out of certain people. Certain 
people, if you will. Say, one little mayor, one little mayor, their life gets threatened, or one little mayor, something happens to them. Say, one person that has a particular politically charge, political charge, they have some sort of a political affiliation, or they're in charge of something. They're considered more important than people like you. They're considered more important than people like me. They're considered more important than the people, the good folks of this town, the bad folks of this town. All the folks of this town mean less than any. All the folks of this town mean less than any of those little political figures, many of which are not so little now, are they? Been eating a little bit too many burritos, have you? Have you a mayor of Toronto? <laughs> A little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a joke there. That's kind of my thing. So have you decided whether or not to give your identity forward? I'm going to press this transmission button and I'm going to let you speak again. Because you know, it'd be a little bit rude and one sided to only let me do all the talking now, wouldn't it? Because I'm a man of my word. I, I, I like to think that... I like to think that I'm a man of my word. When I say something, I mean it. Not like all of these politicians. Your so-called leaders in charge. Your so-called friends and family out there. No. Family. Co-workers, cohorts, bosses, bosses and people, people that surround you, there's only one thing that they can do, and that's disappoint. They lie. They cheat. They steal from you, but you do one thing, and you're considered the criminal. When you just want to make your voice heard, hmm? Hmm? think about that. You want to make your voice just hurt a little bit and maybe just hurt a few people in the process, you know? Maybe just cause a little bit of calamity in the process because if you didn't make a show, how are you ever going to be hurt? It's not about the money. It's not about the fame. It's not about, it's not about the fortune. It's about the message that you leave behind. And I'm leaving a big one. A big one to the bat. Gotham's hero. <laughs> ex hero. Soon to be ex hero. Now, I have a question. You know, there are people out there, they call them monsters like myself. The jokes, the joker, you know. I've been a trickster, a joker my entire life. And everyone always considers me the monster. If you have to take a few people out to leave a message, because your mark has been made, and sometimes, in order to get the attention you need, well, sometimes, it only takes one little political figure in charge, like say a mayor that means so much to the town, but yet friends and family can die and you never hear about them. Well, I for one have always only been done wrong by those surrounding me. They've always been out for themselves. They play the game. Well, I play the cards. And when I do the shuffling, the cards go my way. Well, guess what, Batman? Your house of cards is about to fall. <laughs> <coughs> so, what will it be? Are you gonna let your friends, your little, your little, your little, uh, your new little, uh, soon-to-be sidekick, you gonna let his brother live? Which you could be already dead, but are you going to take that risk? 
Are you, are you? Are you going to take that risk? Hmm? Hmm? I don't think so. It's just not in you. You don't have the, you don't have the guts. You know, you don't have the guts to, to, uh, to do the things that I do. See, that's what, that's what separates you from me. That's what separates the real people. Oh, wow, that look you just gave. Oh, that, that, that right there. That right there. I can see, see, I can see you. Whether you can see and hear me or not, I can see and hear you because I have connections. They want to get paid, though. I don't. I don't care. I don't do it for the money. I do it for the glory of going out with a bang. Going out with a message. <laughs> you know, you know, it's just, it's, no one, no one ever listened to me. Well, now they're going to listen, aren't they? Especially when I reveal the bat to the world. So, I, mean, I thank you for all for joining me, by the way. Because obviously this is overtaking your screen right now, and you can't hear anything except this now, can you? You can't hear anything else but the Joker. That's what I like. All the attention zeroed in right here on me. But, I'm going to send it back to the bat. I'm going to let the bat do a little bit of talking, the Batman do a little bit of talking, and see if he's going to reveal himself and turn over all of his assets, his little fancy toys and equipment that he has, over to me and my goons, my people, so we can run things how it needs to be run. And purge, kill the people that not only... Just to show the people how fragile their environment and their life really is. And how their little leaders and mayors don't really protect them, do they? They're just as fragile as they are, sitting up on their pedestal, speaking from their podium. And without the Batman, they'll have no one to protect them. So, reveal yourself to me now. You have three choices. Well, no, wait a minute. You have one choice, don't you? <laughs> the sound of it. You only have one choice. So I'm going to press this button. And you are going to resume transmission. Oh, I like the chaos. <laughs> Doesn't it? Oh, chaos. Oh, green, my favorite color. Green and purple. So, what'll it be, bad parents? You see this transmission? That was your office building. All your goons inside. Well. I'm sure you know their fate. Right above me. I'm pretty sure that's where you are located. Oh, darn. Well, guess what? I got out. I noticed what you had planned. I'm always one step ahead. But good job on letting so many people die or get injured. Well, guess what? Majority of those people were your goons, and I saved the rest. You're a worthless scumbag, Joker. Justice always wins. By the way, my new sidekick has hacked your coordinates. The police have you surrounded, and they're on your on their way. Oh, oh the police! The police! The police! What are they going to do to? Woo! You really had this whole thing planned through, didn't you? Your goons are dead now. You're nothing without them. Well, really, 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 really. Well, seems to me that you're gonna need me for information. Yeah, maybe a little comic relief as well along the way. What? Commissioner? Don't kill him yet. We need 
looking for information and intel. That's what I thought. But just wait to what wait to see what wait to see what I have planned for next time. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, they like to play rough, don't they? Your little goons, your little police officers, those little people in uniform, they like to play rough, don't they? Don't they like to play rough? <laughs> you just shove me in the police car a little bit more? Why don't you restrain me? Why don't you put me in a straight jacket? Hmm? Put me in a straight jacket so I can't so I can't move around a little, so I can't even so I can't move my arms a bit. Hmm? <laughs> Why don't you have your men put me in a straight jacket? I can still talk. I can give you information you might need. You'll never win. Justice always wins. By the way, watch out for that tranquilizer dart. Tranquilizer dart. <laughs> well played, Batman. Well played. Justice always wins. This concludes today's round of justice. Thank you for joining this little video. Peace, love and many blessings, and as always, sweet dreams. Sweet dreams, everyone. <laughs> Batman.